thing I looked on the list here, and it said five movies that showed another way of being or doing things. And so I, I wrote a little list of ones, movies that I, I hold as really influential on my life. When I left the mental hospital in 1963, the movie Zorba the Greek had just come out. And it contrasted Zorba, who was a real liver of life, with this intellectual Englishman. And he told the Englishman, No, you think too much. Clever people and grocers, they weigh everything. You know, you've got everything except one thing. Madness. A man needs a little madness or else, or else he never dare cut the rope and be free. So I entered Zorba into my life and integrated him fully and totally recommend it. Another film that that I remember kind of at the same time in my, these are films from my Late, late teens and early 20s was Morgan. I think it was Vanessa Redgrave's first film. And Morgan was a wacky guy. And one thing I can say about it is in his wackiness, because he was in love with Vanessa Redgrave, she was beautiful and he was not particularly attractive and wacky. And this was what I, why I thought I couldn't get dates. But in the, in the course of the film, he wears a gorilla costume and I wore a gorilla costume at 18. And it was a significant gesture of my life to ride around Washington DC in the gorilla costume and perform things. So that was really important. I recommend that film. I uh, have here Lawrence of Arabia, uh, an important film for me. I think the acting job is amazing. I think T.E. Lawrence is a fascinating character. And what I got from this long film was how important it is to be yourself, however much that self is appreciated by anyone else, to hold true to who you are and to be ever clear about it as well. Mary Poppins, I, you know, I love Mary Poppins so much. She's such a great character. I know her songs, Spoonful of Sugar helps the medicine go down. In every job that must be done, there's an element of fun. Find the fun and snap the job's a game. And how her personality infected every environment that she was in. That even if people wanted to yell at her and cause her trouble, she would turn them around with her joy and effervescence and play. And, and learning songs, I, I had, I'm a memorizer. And so I started to memorize songs so that I could use them in my work. A uh, King of Hearts, it's a wonderful Jason Robarbs movie. Uh, and Wow, wait, King of Hearts, no, King of Hearts is a film, a World War II film, where this lone soldier, maybe it's World War I, is in France, and the Germans have left the town, and the Allies have not gone into the town, this is a town in France, and when this one soldier comes to town the only person the only people there are the people in the insane asylum and so they've all set themselves free and they're the only people in the town they go in the stores and clearly the soldier who was uncomfortable with being in the military at the end of the movie when the allies march in the city and liberate the city all of the mad people go back to the insane asylum and the soldier takes off all of his clothes and joins them in the insane asylum as the preference over going in the military. 
The one I was going to say is A Thousand Clowns. That's the Jason Robards movie. Oh, boy. Black and white film from New York City. And this is a guy who agreed to take care of his nephew. And, and he's a independent, wacky fellow who uses humor in so many ways. And, you know, it's like I, I'm talking about movies where I always thought of myself being this character and how I can integrate the things I loved in that film. I, I want you to see all of these. And I put Willy Wonka, that's film number six, because I love Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and... These are all films that take normal and say, who would want to be normal? And they all came in my young life when I was hearing that normal was right. I had my three mental hospitals and you're supposed to be normal in order to get out of them. But the normal world was not for me. And so all of these films had their own reinforcement. So if you're not going to be normal and not too crazy to get in a mental hospital, what's freedom of activity crazy? Yeah. And another 2,000 movies that you'll have to hear about later. Mm -hmm.